Hindi pa sumisikat ang araw ay nagsisimula na sa paglilingkod ang mga volunteers ng feeding program ng San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. Abala na sila sa paghahanda at pagluluto ng tanghalian sa higit dalawandaang bata at ilang senior sa mga mission areas na nakapalibot sa parokya. Ito ang naging buhay nila simula pa noong 2019. Araw-araw ay sumasakay ng tricycle, lumalakad sa mga masisikip na eskinita, gilid ng creek o makipot na tulay, maihatid lamang ang mga munting baunan sa mga tahanan. Hindi naging hadlang ang pandemya sa paghahatid ng tulong sa mga bata upang mapanatiling malakas ang kanilang pangangatawan. Nagpapasalamat kami sa lahat ng magigiting na volunteers ng SLRP Feeding Program, lalong-lalo na sa mga foundations and benefactors para sa kanilang walang sawang suporta. Inaanyayahan po namin kayo na tumulong, mag-abot ng makakaya upang mapanatiling buhay, mulat at kumikilos ang San Lorenzo. Tawag sa ikakasal. Si Alvin Patrick C. Beltran, 32 taong gulang nakatira sa 47 Cruz Compound, Gulliat, Quezon City, ay ikakasal kay Amore M. Pasatiempo, 35 taong gulang nakatira sa 7390 Fear Street, Marcelo Green Village, Paranaque City, sa ikasampo ng Marso 2023, sa Holy Family Paris, Bawan, Batangas. Si Joseph Reyes, 25 taong gulang, nakatira sa Block 7, Lot 12, Daang Bakal Ampid 1, San Mateo Rizal, ay ikakasal kay Mary Joy Descarso Amaro, 24 na taong gulang nakatira sa SS Extension, Kulyat, Tandang Sora, Quezon City, sa ikadalawampot lima ng Pebrero 2023 sa Our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary Paris, Montalban, Rizal. A blessed afternoon to all. This Eucharistic celebration is being streamed through the Facebook page of San Lorenzo Ruiz Parish. We enjoin you to dress appropriately and actively and reverently participate in our celebration.
Please kneel for the litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive through the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so, when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines, to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence, when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of his of life everlasting on all those who died, from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this, we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Please stand and let us pray the Angelus. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Today's celebration is the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time with the theme, Probing the Depth of the Commandments. The commandments are the way that leads to life. To those who felt surprised or bewildered at the freedom with which he related to the Sabbath rest, Jesus assured them all that he had not come to abolish the law, but to bring it to completion. And in the Sermon on the Mount, he showed that bringing the law to completion meant going deeper than its legal formulations. It meant unearthing the values with which every commandment enshrines and to live by those values to the utmost, without watering down their demands, without simplifications or shortcuts. Jesus' teaching on this matter is illustrated by some practical examples contained in today's Gospel passage. These give us food for thought for our reflection and encouragement to action for only those who live by the values enshrined in God's commandments will have the light of life. May our participation in this Eucharist strengthen us in our resolve to do just that. Please rise and let us welcome the celebrant of this Mass, our parish priest, Reverend Father Nino Ituli, SCJ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so passioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The great moral teacher Sirach reminds us, reminds his disciples and us today that God created us free so that we might freely choose what is good. Hence, we have the duty to use our freedom wisely, avoiding sin because it displeases the Lord and brings about our ruin. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water. To whichever you choose, stretch for your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given to him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. None, to none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Today, St. Paul tells the faithful of Corinth that God's mysterious plan of salvation in Christ was revealed by the Holy Spirit to the apostles and all believers. Such was the ruling of the divine wisdom which had been kept hidden from the wise of this world. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature not the wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. 
for the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, Whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Again, you, you have heard that it was said to your, to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you bow. But I say to you, do not swear at all. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi po. Bilang nanay at isol, ano po yung makapagpapasaya sa'yo sa panahon natin ngayon? Oo, magpapasaya. Kapag sumusunod yung anak mo. Ikaw, Michelle, bilang youth, ano yung makapagpapasaya sa'yo? Hindi, bukas. Matataas yung grades. Kuya Chris, kayo po, bilang lay minister, ano po yung makapagpapasaya sa inyo? Pagmasaya si Doktora Alice. Uh, makapag-serve ng linggo-linggo. For Israelites, obeying the law of God makes one truly happy. Yun po yung para sa mga Hudyo. Yung pagsunod sa kautosan ng Diyos ay siyang makapagpapasaya, makapagpapaligaya. 
sa isang tao. Talaga, Father, balikan niyo po yung Psalm 119. Sinasabi po doon na yung pagsunod sa, uto, sa kautusan ng Diyos ang siyang makapagpapasaya sa isang tao. At yun din sinasabi ni Ate Sol, yung makapagpapasaya sa kanya bilang nanay kapag sumunod yung kanyang anak sa kanya bilang nanay. At sa pagsunod na yon katulad ng sinabi ni Michelle, may magkakaroon ng bunga. Minsan bilang sudyante, kung ikaw ay sumusunod, hindi malayo na magkakaroon ka nga ng matataas na grado. At darating yung time, katulad ng sinabi ni Kuya Chris, na wala ka ng ibang hahangarin pa. Because you are happy, you are fulfilled, hahangarin mo na lang na makapaglingkod sa Diyos. And, yun yung sa konteksto ng mga Hudyo. Subalit, habang tumatagal, dahil papasa-pasa, pabago-bago ng generation, some Israelites have not only found a way to avoid or to avoid, but also their understanding in notion, notion of happiness, was reduced to mere compliance to the law hanggang sa pagsunod na lang yung kanilang notions yung kanilang pagkakaunawa ng happiness it's more on compliance kaya ang masyado silang strict to dun sa sabat kaya nga yung original commandments received by Moses Ito'y kanyang, kanilang hinati-hati sa napakaraming batas, napakaraming kautusan. And Jesus is very uh, quick no? to explain in our gospel today, to clarify that He came not to abolish the law or what the prophets proclaim but to fulfill it. Yun po yung malina kung titingnan natin, babalikan po natin yung fourth Sunday. It talks about the Beatitudes. And the other Sunday, it talks about our identity as the salt and light of the earth. Yun po yung malinaw. Sa kabilang banda, at least the Pharisees and the scribes were serious and committed in following the law. But it was not enough. It was not enough. Because Jesus stressed that it is very important to follow the commandments, the law of God. Because God is the author of life. Jesus knew that Fullness of life can only be achieved by being a good follower, a good daughter, or a good son, a good lay minister, a good parishioner. And Jesus was saying that eternal life can only be gained through following His teaching. And Jesus Himself because He is the way, the truth, and the life. The lower instruments to knowing, loving, and serving the Lord. And can we obey the commandments? Do we have the capacity to fulfill them? And St. Paul vividly and correctly pointed out the human struggles regarding sin and obeying the commandments in Romans chapter 7. He said, What I do, I do not understand. For I do not do what I want, but I do 
what I hate. And in verse 19, he said, For I do not do the good I want, but I do the evil I do not want. While it is true that our flesh is weak, our faith in Jesus is there to help us. We are not completely helpless. We have a choice. If we will follow Jesus, Jesus, we will be freed from the situation. And we can learn from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15 to 19. Ang sabi po dito, See, I sit before you today, life and prosperity, death and destruction. For I command you today to love the Lord your God, to walk in obedience to Him and to keep His commands, decrees, and laws. Then you will live and increase, and the Lord your God will bless you in the land you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you are not obedient, if you are not obedient, ampoy, and if you are drawn away to bow down to other gods and worship them, I declare to you this day that you will certainly be destroyed. You will not live long in the land you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. My dear brothers and sisters, a teaching of Beatitudes, the message of the salt in life, in our, and also our gospel today, a teaching that proposes a new way of being happy. It teaches happiness as something experienced not only by obeying the law, but also by being poor, merciful, peace-loving, meek, and so on. Jesus reminds us that obeying means more than just its external observance. It is a matter of inner disposition. It is complying with the right motivation and disposition. It is not just killing but being reconciling. It is not just about not committing adultery but not to have impure thoughts. It is not just about perjuring, but about commitment. My dear brothers and sisters, this day I call the heavens and the earth as witnesses against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and curses. Now, choose life so that you and your children may live. Amen. I believe in, in one, one God. God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light, light from, from light, light, true God, God from true God, God begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, 
He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Today, God's Word has enlightened us about the values enshrined in the commandments and the strict demands they impose on us. Let us ask for the Lord's help in our endeavors to live up to these demands. In all humility, we implore, Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For the Universal Church, mother and teacher of all the faithful, may she never tire of reminding humankind of the need to treasure and live the values based on the commandments. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For the Holy Father, our bishops and priests, may they teach the demands of God's law with clarity and constantly witness with their lives to the values they proclaim. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For our civil authorities who are responsible for promoting the common good of the people, may they always make and enforce laws that reflect and promote the values contained in God's moral law. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For our catechists, teachers, and media practitioners whose work is so vital in the moral formation of the new generations, may they always be aware of the importance of their mission and carry it out with brave consistency. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For our youth, especially their leaders, may they realize and be convinced that the better world they dream of can become a reality only by upholding the values enshrined in God's law. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. For our community and our families, may the moral teaching of the Sermon on the Mount be our constant reference point and inspiration in facing the challenges of daily life. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Holy Mass. Let us pray. Lord, make us faithful to your commandments. God, our Father, we thank you for having given, given us in Jesus our infallible moral teacher and perfect example to be followed. May your Holy Spirit grant us the strength that we need to put into practice the truths we have recalled today. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us joyfully proclaim the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Roberto our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honors is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, so that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Una, Meron po tayong second collection para po sa pagpapagawa ng Kristong Hari Parish Shrine of the Youth sa Diocese of Novaliches. Ikalawa, simula ngayong linggo ay nagsimula na pong mangolekta ang parokya ng mga lumang palaspas. Mangyari lang pong pakitanggal ang mga staple wires at ribbons ng palaspas at ilagay ito sa basket sa harap ng simbahan. Ikatlo, 
Inaanyayahan po ang lahat sa February 14 para sa isang Valentine's Day concert na pangungunahan ni Francis Ryan Lim. Ito po ay isang partnership kasama ng Mass Corp at, as, at SLRP at ang proceeds po ng tickets ay ibibigay sa ating feeding program. Ang concert po ay gaganapin sa Ayala Malls, Vertis North mula 5.30 p.m. hanggang 8 p.m. Ang tickets po ay mabibili sa halagang 500 pesos para sa isang ticket o sa pamamagitan ng donasyon na nagkakahalaga ng 1,000 na may kasamang isang libreng ticket or VIP donation na 5,000 na may kasamang li libreng tatlong ticket. Sa mga interesado po ay maaaring bumili sa ng ticket sa bungad ng simbahan o makipag-ugnayan sa Paris office. At panghuli, ang lahat po ay muling inaanyayahan sa isang gabi ng panayam na pinamagatang Mental Health Post-Pandemic Issues and Practical Guide. Ito ay gaganapin dito sa ating simbahan sa February 25, 7.30 p.m. at ang ating guest speaker ay si Dr. Eduardo Caligner, Batikang Psychologist, Guidance Counselor, South After Speaker on Mental Health at isang Catholic Church Worker. Maraming salamat po. Please Maraming stand. Maraming salamat po sa inyong patuloy na suporta sa mga gawain ng ating parokya. Higit sa lahat sa suporta sa diocese. Yung construction po ng Kristong Hari ay hindi lamang po ito construction ng, kon ng Kristong Hari Paris. Ito po ay proyekto ng buong diocese ng Novaliches. Kung kayo po yung interesado na bumili ng walong baryong, walong bari, pwede po kayo magtanong sa opisina kung paano po kayo makakabili. O kung may mga kakilala po kayong willing na mag-donate para sa construction ng Kristong Hari, maraming salamat po. So may the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.